Hey everyone, Varun Mahocha here. I am doing another breakdown today. Um, I'm going to be doing Isaac Dodaline versus Samir Chantry at the 2019 King of Mats. So as I always do, I'm going to do a little preview of this match. Um, so Isaac Dodaline is a very well-rounded jiu-jitsu guy. Uh, he, um, he's only going to be passing in this match. So his passing in all of his matches is basically him just using a combination of Tariandos, knee slides, and stacks. But most of all, his biggest thing is avoiding guards and chaining his passes together. And what he does to avoid guards is that um, he generally passes with his head forward rather than having his head over his hips. Um, Shamir Chantry, he's also pretty well-rounded. On bottom, he does a little bit of everything, and there isn't really anything that sticks out about him. The one thing that he does really well is that he just does a little bit of everything. So at the start of the match, Isaac is basically just looking to double pull and come up on the advantage, or in this case, the uh, because of the UAE rules, just a point. But on the come up, he's looking to not give any guards. Samir over here, he's kind of free-flowing in general, but most of the time he likes to stay on bottom or bolo from the double pool. Before they do anything, they're going to try and gauge the distance because they know as soon as they get close enough, they have to explode. We see that Samir actually fakes a shot, but Isaac doesn't fall for it and is able to time the double pool in the come-up. Isaac in this moment does the most Isaac chain ever. He comes up threatening a Toriando to the left, but comes out to the side for a stack. On the first attempt, notice that Isaac actually misses the stack and isn't actually able to capture the knee, as Samir's shin is lower than Isaac's shoulder. In order to make the stack work, you have to make sure their leg is over the top. We see Isaac on the restart make an instant adjustment as he makes sure that his shoulder is under Samir's leg so he can capture the knee. One detail that I want to point out is that Isaac with his right hand is grabbing Samir's left collar. This is the 300 IQ move right here because what this allows him to do is to get his head and shoulders to the inside of Samir's foot so it's hard for Samir to throw a foot onto the near shoulder and as an added bonus in this position it also makes it difficult for Samir to have long frames with his hands. What Samir does is the only option left to him which is throwing, a, throwing up a crossover. Samir over here when Isaac was resetting the pass made a mistake as he extended his legs and had his hands not gripping or framing. That made it even easier for Isaac to restart the chain. If Samir kept his knees to his chest and framed with his hands, he could have prevented the whole chain again. When Isaac is finishing the stack pass, Samir makes the decision to push on the elbow and sit up to Turtle, which exposes himself to the Baron Bolo. Isaac does something that was really smart over here and keeps the grip with his right hand so he can still attack the Baron Bolo. And notice how he slips his leg into Baron Bolo position too, so now all he has to do is roll through. Once Isaac has his back on the mat, he does a beautiful job of capturing the hip with his left knee and climbing the back to the seatbelt by connecting Samir's left shoulder blade to his chest and getting the overhook with the right hand. Yeah, so for the rest of the match, Isaac just kind of holds Samir in back control and that's about it. Um, I'd recommend watching these guys a lot. They both have really, really fun styles and they both have very, very technical jiu-jitsu. So I like to watch them a lot. I, I binge their matches heaps. I'm gonna be, I recommend that you support them and follow their Instagrams down below. Um, in terms of me personally, I'm also going to be selling online privates during this quarantine time. So while these gyms are closed, you still want to progress into jiu-jitsu and you still want to get better. So you can hit me up and then I can basically help you with whatever you had trouble with in the past and um, we can work towards fixing it. Um, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share it with your friends, please, so that they can also still improve. Okay, and uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Let it be your chill. Goodbye.